In this week's episode, the Galveston Bay oil spill affects wildlife, condor hatchlings get an unusual surrogate parent, elephant contraception, and a lucky moose. That and much more in this week's nature and environment news from around the world, this is your Two Minute Roundup. The Galveston Bay oil spill is affecting seabirds. Over 170,000 gallons of oil spilled into the ocean when two barges collided off the coast of Texas. The affected area is close to a 2,000-acre bird conservation area, and it's right in the middle of their migration season. Volunteers and rescuers have had their hands full trying to save as many as they can. Staying in North America and with birds, the Oregon Zoo stepped in to help endangered condors hatch out of their eggs this week. There are only 400 condors left, so each individual is important. Once the chicks are out of their eggs, they're given a surrogate mother, a feather duster. There's mom. Australia's Green Party has launched the latest anti-shark coal attempt with a private member's bill to the Senate. The bill would alter the country's Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act, ensuring the government cannot make exemptions to catch sharks on baited drum lines. The controversial shark culling policy has sparked outrage across the world. From down under to South Africa's Isi Mangaliso Wetland Park, where female elephants are to be given contraception. Unlike many other African states, South Africa is not affected by elephant poaching, and the growing population has to be managed. Contraception is an alternative to having to cull or relocate elephants when their numbers reach a reserve's carrying capacity. Off to Canada, where a baby moose wandering the suburbs found himself in a spot of trouble. Lucky for the little creature, help was at hand. And here's something else you don't see every day, a veined octopus building an underwater fort. You can watch this amazing behavior and the full video on our website. Speaking of our website, if you head on over to the Wild Watch page, you'll find easy to read snippets of amazing wildlife sightings across the globe. Like the Chinese government offering cash for spotting endangered porpoises, a plan to save the world's rarest gorilla, and much more. It's also Earth Hour this week, so if you're doing anything special, send us a tweet or Facebook message. We'd love to hear about it.